Hi, this is Mandy from Learning and Journaling, and we're going to be looking at the high school photography and digital media learning journal. So this is more complex than the primary school one that we looked at in the, one of the other videos. This has been geared specifically if you are in Australia, so anyone anywhere can use this. But if you are in Australia and you're in high school, this counts towards the one year, 100 hour course for creative arts, photography and digital media. So any stage, any year of stage four or stage five, this counts towards the creative arts. So we're looking at all of these things, including dark rooms, types of cameras, theory, famous people, building a portfolio. So this is where it's more complex than the primary school one. We're looking at the frames. So use these videos, these links, this will explain to you a lot. Write it in your own words when you're in this section. Types of photography that you get. Um, the framework, again, use these links because it will help get a much better understanding of these, uh, the conceptual framework. Um, so photo study. So you choose any photo to study. Is it a nature photo? Is it an art photo? Whatever. You choose where your interests are. But you need to break it down and look at it, assess it, critically analyze it in these the conceptual framework and the frames. So learning how to cite photos and then the forms of photography. So here's where we look at, look at not just photography, sorry, digital media as well. So still forms and how that has been used to preserve history and then we have the interactive forms so web design and computer games and so on how that has been used to preserve history some inventions that were linked to that moving so this is for the film producers how that has been used for preserving history famous people History of Digital Media, again, I have given some links in there. And then of those three forms, choose one that you want to go into deeper. So any of those three forms, um, a child can look at much deeper. So do that as a project. And then computer-based technology also needs to be covered. So any app or computer program or website where a photo or a short form or anything has to be digitally done. This is where you're going to record your um, progress on that. So many kids are actually already doing this kind of thing. So this is just for recording their, um, yeah, making a record of it. So this is everything else. So we've got the cheat sheet, all sorts of types of cameras that we cover, the set design, inventions. So it covers for history, camera lenses, all sorts of camera lenses that we've covered. And again, more photo studies and some terminology. What big words have they learned while looking at photography? And this, they do not need to be stuck on photos or photography as such, but this is the foundation of movie making as well. Um, so we do go into a lot of making a Firm foundation for that. At the end of this section, let me find it. Um, somewhere is the end, so they can choose their own cameras and lenses and things if I haven't covered anything. Uh, so here's a project for them to do preserving history. Choose a historical event to research through the eyes of a photojournalist. What type of camera was used? What kind of dangers would the photographer have experienced? How did the journalist photography help preserve history for future generations? So they can print out photos from that journalist um, that covered the event and write up what, how they feel that affected history. Choose your own photo to study and, and assess. And then my portfolio here is where they can record all of their... And this doesn't have to be restricted to this. They can print out a bunch more of these and put it in a folder. They can just put it in a notebook. Um, any digital projects that they're doing can go in this section. So the storyboard for an animation or a stop motion or the web designing that they're doing just recorded over here. 
So this becomes their portfolio to show that they've done 100 hours. So we do also have um, some presentation projects. This one's create a PowerPoint. We have some assignments in between. Um, yeah. So it's very much high school level. Um, or if your older primary child is very interested in photography, that might meet them, but it's very much made for high school. But thank you for watching. Um, you can also get the primary school one over at learningandjournaling.com.